Street food. Welcome back to Street Food's road trip to Pingyao. It's an old city in Shanxi province, which is extremely well preserved. The word Ping in Chinese typically means peace, and the word Yao means far off or remote. So the name Pingyao gives you the feeling of a distant place that's very secure or peaceful. This city wall was more or less a guarantee of peace back in the day. If you had a big wall, nobody messed with you. China obviously took that philosophy to the bank. Since Pingyao is a tourist destination, there's all kinds of guided walking tours. You can check out statues and relics. They really milk the oldness of the place for all the tours. For real though, Pingyao has some pretty legit stuff. In addition to the roofscape, which is pretty cool, there are a ton of statues, a Confucius philosophy school, old cobblestone alleys, and market streets. The only problem with these picturesque lanes are that they're kind of crowded with tourists. Especially on a holiday when I went, still worth it though. Plenty of Taoist temples. This one in particular had these two nasty statues on either side of the gate. There's a glaring at me. It's just like that scene from a never ending story with a tray you walking through the thing. Those half naked angel sphinxes, they try to get you with the laser eyes. No, that scene scared the crap out of me when I was a kid. And there's Falcor. Oh my gosh. What else? There's a doll museum. And this caught my eye. There's a church in the middle of this preserved ancient city. Unlike the temples, the church really stood out to me because I was not expecting to see it. It was built by the Jesuits, I'm pretty sure. They've been in China for a long time, like way before capitalism came to town. So in a more modern Chinese city, like where I live, the whole steeple and cross thing is not entirely, but more or less unheard of. But because of the Jesuit influence, it's part of the historical landscape of this ancient city. The city gates were cool. There were some awesome vistas. It was the theme bed bar. Whatever that means. Let's talk about local snacks. Vanilla beef. I know it sounds weird. Well, it is weird. It's ground beef that I guess they marinate in a vanilla solution. It's wrapped in this kind of tofu. They call it tofu pee, or tofu skin. It's starchy, it's almost mildly elastic. I kind of like it. There's a lot of people that don't. The meat is steamed inside the tofu. The one I got was a little pink for my taste, but it's a local delicacy, so I went for it. Corn cakes. These were not good. These were kind of like sweet cornbread, which off the bat I do not like. They didn't know if they wanted to be crispy or soft, not in a good way. Sometimes that can be good if it's crispy on the outside and soft on the inside, but these just came off stale. No. Next. Local noodles. Now this variety of cold noodles is similar to something I've shown on street food before. Chili oil, vinegar. It's not my favorite, but it's definitely not the worst thing that I had. Time for one more. So imagine a donut, a little crispier than average, and on the inside, you've got red bean paste and dates. Now I kind of hate dates, and I more than kind of hate red bean paste. I did not know they were stuffed with these two ingredients when I bought them. So I thought they were just fried dough balls, but they taste, I mean, they taste like they're supposed to taste. You know, they're just, they're gross. Unless you like that sort of thing. Pingyao has a fair amount of nightlife, and while I didn't love the street food in Pingyao, there's one place that every tourist trap town has in spades that I do love, and that's restaurants that sell Western-style breakfast. Toast, bacon, eggs, coffee. Most of them don't open until 11, so they're kind of catering to the hungover tourist who spent the night before in one of the many bars in town. But they got real coffee, and I'm not complaining. More from Pingyao next week. I'll show you two spots near the city, a Chinese castle and an old military hideout. Pretty cool stuff. Check out streetfoodinternational.com for more Pingyao content. Until next week, keep eating it on the street, watching out for the parasite. Street food. Question for you, street foodies. China has a lot of pretty cool stuff. It's got a lot of history, it's got a lot of beautiful places. If you were gonna come to China as a tourist, what would you most wanna see? Let me know in the comments below. Plus, don't forget to check out Street Food International.